So, um, today uh, we went to this uh, party. We didn't have any fever. Uh, luckily, so we could go to the party. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, it was re really nice people and they are going to move um, uh, like an hour away from here. Or hour and, hour, hour and a half almost away from here. But it's closer, uh, quite close to my parents. So, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to see them when I'm visiting my parents. Uh, because I'm going to miss them. They're really nice people. Uh, and Joe had a lot of fun and uh, was playing. It's nice to see also how she's developing um, uh, her social skills because she had more and more open to other kids and contacted seeking and trying to invite them into her own uh, games and things like that, children she hadn't met before. Well. And uh, that's really nice to see. Um, uh, it's always nice when you see that your kids develop. And um, yeah, she went to her today and I let her pick uh, some of her clothes herself because you can't force her to wear something she doesn't want to. She's not, it's not possible. <laughs> she was just whining about it and anyway. And of course, I mean, I think that should be something children should always have a right to. As long as it's not something that are make them freeze or get wet or cold or too hot um, or in some very few situations suitable because I think all if they should be able to choose themselves what they want to wear because I, I think I, I don't ha like this you know that you just put up a dress code for different situations so one says oh you can't wear this when you go to the store or you can't wear this when you go to preschool or whatever I, I don't care about that but for other situations like going to a funeral you wear a dress code for that and that is something you should respect or a wedding so so we like you should respect that because it's somebody else's special moment and so on. So, but um, today um, she was okay with having this really princess um, grown. It's um, like um, a dress. Um, uh, what do you call it? It's a um, velvet um, top and chiffon. I think it's called um, a dress a skirt to it and a lot of still sparkles all over it and it's with glitters and very very much three year old uh, princess dress <laughs> dresses and she just really like it um, that, um, to that she chose to have a grey hoodie which is not princess -ish at all and she had this hat, I don't know what you call that it's kind of a cap uh, but like old, really old men often have but this is white and blue striped so it doesn't has this typical old man uh, pattern but at least it's very much the old man stuff. I, I can't make her wear those little adorable sun hats I have for her. She don't want to wear them. She don't want to be adorable. She wants to be herself. That's okay. And the that she's wear those. I think I have them here somewhere. So, yeah. Those <laughs> she wore to bed. I was like, okay, it's the middle of summer but if you like them, why not? They're quite cute, I think. But, but anyways, she's, yeah, she's special like that. She has a very strong mind of herself. Um, so that is a good thing, I think. I also got some plants uh, for my allotment, because we're going to move, as I said. And uh, they remove some of the plants from the garden, because we really like that. Now starts also the season when people um, start to uh, remark on my skin tone and I don't really know why because I don't uh, sometimes I get really wet, red and a lot of people are really red right now simply because we get sunburn and um, uh, people do that early in the year you know early in the season and uh, I also get tanned a little bit but not that much and it's like this is my summer color and here out is my winter color there's a difference right it's actually sharper in the camera than normally but I mean that's and this is darker story of me, of me. I think it's darker here than I in my face, simply because um, I don't always remember to wear sunscreen here if I don't uh, plan of having a shirt like this, which shows a top like this shirt that shows a little bit more skin. Um, because I don't think it's good to always put all those chemicals on, on your body, you know, 24 7. But um, yeah, you should be looking to care for this area. But it's not that much difference. 
And people always remark on myself, oh, you look so pale, you look so, you're feeling well. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry, I look like this. It's not my fault. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's about it. Um, also, bad side, I'm on a period. As you can tell, I got all those all over my face. I look like I was 15 again. I hate this because there's nothing to do. I can't do anything about it. It's a pure hormone thing. I got it every time I got my period and I hate this like this huge stop signs in my face and sometimes I get really swollen like I done today. It's not always I do but this month I did and I hate it. Uh, and on top of that I have a lot of cramps and a really lot of lot of lot of pain today meaning that most of the time today and it's annoying because I really have a time to actually do things today but I don't have energy I can't do it I can't focus on anything I'm feeling like this and cramps comes and go and um, yeah I feel awful Book. and um, but so they've been really nice to me and uh, they bought, uh, bought me some Ben and Jerry so I've been in bed half of the evening and eating that which doesn't make me less swollen but it makes me a little bit a little bit more happier than I was before. Ice cream is always a good idea. Always. So yeah. Also it's one of the times I like I I never wished I was a man. Never. Uh, but I wished I could like uh, skip period. On the other hand I don't want to go to into menopause um, either because I want more kids but uh, I don't want cramps I don't really know how to get rid of them I'm like with getting pregnant was an option and but I bought that I don't really know <laughs> and um, but uh, yeah it would be something you know no cramps good start new life